This is the story of how a dangerous bet changed my life. That is not clickbait. That is not an over-exaggeration. And we're going to get into it right now. I'm going to tell you how this story started. I realized it had been way too long since the last main channel video. About five or six months-ish. All of a sudden, I got recommended a video from Dreg, but not from his main channel, from his side channel. This video was all about how to make it as an artist, and as somebody who is a freelancer, and that is my job, I edit videos for other people, for other clients, that's how I make my money. I also realized that I want to make my own creativity, you know, my actual job. So I was like, okay, maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe, uh, maybe I don't understand something very specific that I should have known before. Watching this like 30 minute video made me realize I have zero accountability in my life. So I talked to my friend Mateo, right? Because he's one of my, one of my best friends, one of my creative friends that I have known for a long time. And we think very similarly and we both create stuff and we're pretty good at creating stuff, which is very good. So I was talking to him about this whole thing of like, dude, I just need accountability. I need to get back on the grind. I need to, you know, focus on my work again because work is a bit slower so I can actually take the time to make videos like this and, you know, stream and make main channel videos and stuff like that. But I was like, I need some motivation here that's gonna push me more than what I'm already doing. And unprompted, this is what Mateo says. I did not make him say this. He was not prompted to say this because I wanted him to say this. He just said this very sentence. If your next video doesn't get done by March 13th, I'm deleting my channel. That immediately, immediately shook me to my core. And it gave me so much motivation because I did not want my friend to delete his channel. Quite obviously, like why Why would I want that? No, I love this guy, I love this guy's videos and if he deleted his channel, I would cry because I, I love his work so much. He's, he's a really funny guy and I respect what he does. <laughs> my friend put his own channel at Jeopardy to motivate me. Who does that? Oh man, I love my friends. Gosh, that's crazy. So then because of this situation, I started working on my main channel video. Finally, right? Took me long enough. And having this dangerous bet looming over my head every single day until I get it done actually motivated me once again to make this whole creativity of mine an actual priority in my life. And it worked. What you want to know how I know it worked because a video that would take me months and months to make took me a week or two ish about that time less than a month and it made me realize oh I can upload monthly videos again because if I actually make it a priority it'll get done it, that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy but when I reached 4k subs which actually happened recently and th and that's also what kind of motivated me a little bit to work on the main channel again because when I reached 4,000 subscribers uh, they show you a graph and here's the graph right it showed that my growth was slowing over time and the reason for this was probably due to the fact that over the past few years I've been uploading less and less and honestly I I want to change that like I want to make more cool stuff so currently my goal is to upload at least once a month since this year will honestly probably be my last good attempt at YouTube so why not go as hard as I possibly can this year why not you know I'm going to start making monthly videos on the main channel. I'm going to start streaming twice a week, which I've already done. I have a Twitch, by the way. I've been streaming there, trying to get affiliates so we can get channel points once again. And we're, there's going to be two weekly side channel videos all about obscure independent indie games. I'm bringing that back, but it's going to be in a new live format and it's going to be edited down for the highlight channel. I've already got so many videos scheduled for that. I've been working on that in the background. So there's going to be a lot of really cool projects this year that I'm super excited about. I guess I got just tired of waiting and I realized that I could actually work on my channels if I, you know, actually made them my priority. On one of the first days I was working on my new main channel video, I spent an entire day on it and I just realized, oh, wait, 
this is what I want to do with my life. I want to work on my own projects and that's what I'm going to do for as long as I possibly can. And that will change over time. You know, I have gone through a lot of changes in my personal life and just, you know, creativity in general. So I'm always going to be creating something. It's just that depending on the year or the type of time I'm having in life, sometimes it'll change. And honestly, I want to really get back to creating a bunch of stuff again because I've missed it and it's been really fun. Now, this wasn't going to be a part of the video originally, but I wanted to include it at the end to motivate other people to work on their projects. If you have to go to the extent of making a dangerous bet to actually motivate you, I encourage you to do it because it actually worked for me. And you don't have to go as extreme as my situation. So first and foremost, the first thing I did was I punished myself for not creating a main channel video in like six months. So I uninstalled DoorDash. And now since I finished my main channel video, I can finally get DoorDash again, you know? So first of all, if it's been a while since you've created something, immediately punish yourself. All projects are different, so it just depends on the project, obviously. For me, it shouldn't take more than a month to get a normal master ETH video out, right? And it's been six months. So I'm like, okay, I immediately need to punish myself for not making this more of a priority. So I took away DoorDash. I uninstalled DoorDash, which is crazy for me. And that was an initial motivation. It's like, okay, once this video gets done, I can get DoorDash, hooray. The more dangerous part, right, was my friend threatening to delete his channel if I don't upload a video by a certain date. And I got my video done weeks before the due date because I was that motivated to get it done and not be a threat to my friend's channel. So yeah, find a way to motivate yourself. Everybody's different, so I can't give specific examples. I mean, I can talk from my own experience, sure, but figure out what works for you, right? Figure out ways to motivate yourself, figure out ways to punish yourself it's, if it's been like way too long. Granted, some projects take longer than others. I didn't punish myself for taking a year off to work on the Studio C documentary. I didn't punish myself because I knew that's how long it would take because I was going through the entire show and the history of the entire show. So that obviously takes a while, right? But for a project that I'm making currently, like the one I just finished, it's not going to take an entire year. There's, there's no reason for it to. So set a deadline that's reasonable, right? So you're not like just rushing to get it done. So set a reasonable deadline, punish yourself if necessary. You don't always have to punish yourself, but sometimes you have to, you know, especially if you're independent like me and nobody tells you what to do and you're all by yourself and you're your own boss in a sense. So you kind of have to, you know, give yourself incentives every once in a while, especially if you're not doing what you're supposed to. So yeah, set a reasonable deadline punish yourself if necessary, figure out how your brain works, you know, because it took me a while to figure out how my brain works, because personally, I just love being active and I love working on stuff, right? So I know that I love to be busy. So I am just working on creative projects in my spare time when I have spare time, you know, because that's like how my brain works. Now, there are days where I don't feel like doing anything and that's OK. Rest is OK, too. But if you're resting so much to the point where you feel like you're not getting anything done that you want to get done, that's when it becomes a little dangerous. You know, obviously rest, obviously take time for yourself. Obviously, that's important, right? But there should also be a balance where you're actually working on the stuff you actually care about. You know, it's it's a good balance to have more more videos on the way more 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 <laughs> but yeah thank you for watching i hope this motivated you to get stuff done get stuff done do it right now after watching this video go work on your thing that you want to go work on do it do it now unless you're at work then obviously you can't but when you today when you have free time work on it and it doesn't have to be for like hours upon hours work on it for like 5 10 15 20 minutes a day find those pockets of time to work on the thing that you really care about if you really care about it you will make time for it somehow i get six hours of sleep a night <laughs> because i have so much to do uh, all the time there's always so much to do so i have to sacrifice a little bit of sleep to get everything done but that's my choice and that's my price to pay you know because of that, I have more pockets of time. I woke up at 6.30 today. It is 9.46 a.m. I literally was editing a bunch of highlights before recording this video. I, it, I've been pretty productive today, you know? It's been, it's been a good day. But that's also because work is slow. So you have to understand your work schedule and kind of work around your work schedule. That's the key, too. So yeah, that's, I think that's basically it. Go create something 
today or when you have time this week, you know, some days you won't be able to work on your stuff and just accept that that's totally okay. But try better tomorrow. Try better, you know, the next week or something like that. You know, just keep improving and keep trying to create the things that you want to create. All right. I think that's basically it. Uh, have fun creating your project. That's also another step to this whole process. You got to have fun. If you're not having fun, then what's the point? You know, you got to enjoy the process of creating the thing. You know, that's, that's half the enjoyment, honestly. The other half for me, at least, is finishing the video and uploading it and seeing people's uh, reactions. That's also pretty satisfying for me. Thank you for watching. This will be on the, probably the side channel because this is where I'm allowed to do whatever the frick I want. So yeah, I might just upload this today, honestly. I might because I'm going to edit it today. So why not? And I'll send it to my friend because he was talking about, hey, you should make a, a video about how to motivate yourself to create stuff. Now, am I also making this because I want my friend to create stuff because I love his stuff and it's been way too long since the last thing he made anything? Yeah, sure. So a little self-serving, but at the same time, it's good advice for anybody who wants to create stuff. So it's a win-win for me. I need to stop talking. I know I'm a YouTuber because I could just talk in front of a camera forever, which is a good and bad problem. But I'm going to edit this now. Thank you for watching. I got a lot of really cool stuff this year that I'm super excited for. I'm super motivated and we're going to get it done, right? I just finished the video and honestly, I'm probably going to work on the next documentary today. Maybe we'll see how I'm feeling. But yeah, also, Here's a bonus tip for you that I just thought of. When you finish a big project, you need to celebrate. Or any creative project, you need to celebrate. I think I'm probably going to eat ice cream tonight or later today because I finished a documentary that I'm really proud of. So I'm going to treat myself. You know, that's a little bonus tip, especially if it takes you a while to create something. You got you to gotta celebrate. You got to reward yourself every once in a while for accomplishing a creative task, you know?